Hello, I'm Richard with ev for You Custom Conversions. And in this video, we're going to talk about some of your options when it comes to doing a EV conversion. So, first off, we'll start with the option that you can pay somebody to do it. And if you do that, you want to make sure they're experienced and that they know what they're going to do, what they're doing, and they're going to do a good job. And you really want the outcome, you know, you want a conversion that's going to be safe, simple, and reliable. You know, safety first, and then simple and reliable. And I've seen a lot of conversions that are really overly complicated, that they didn't need to be. And so, if somebody has a true understanding of the big picture, they can design and build a conversion that is simple and yet full featured, safe and reliable. Remember, simplicity is uh, the key to reliability. Complexity is the enemy of reliability. And then of course, it's going to cost you some money. Now. A conversion, at the very least, is not an inexpensive proposition. It's a fairly expensive undertaking. And if a person is honest and they keep track of all the cost, and I'm not talking labor, I'm talking the actual cost for every nut and bolt and the wiring and connectors, everything, you're hard pressed to do a safe, simple, reliable conversion uh, for under $20 worth the materials. $20,000. $20, Hope I said that right. $20,000 worth the materials. That's just reality. And this is 2021. And so you can put, you know, the labor on top of that. Uh, you know, it's 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 fairly expensive. Now realize, with a conversion, it's a little different than say you're having your house painted. You have your house painted perhaps 20% is materials and 80% is labor. Well, it's just the reciprocal in, in the conversion world. 90% is going to be your component costs, 10% will be labor. Uh, there's just a lot of component expense and the market will only bear so much and so they, uh, they kind of limit uh, the labor. So somebody needs to know what they're doing so that they can do the thing efficiently and thus get what they need for the labor and not waste any time uh, in that aspect. That's one option. The other option would be to do it yourself. Okay? And to do it yourself you're going to have to have a certain knowledge base and a certain skill sets and it's still going to cost you money like I just explained. Now, if you go to somebody who does a less than, um, than less than what you expect, it's going to cost you even more probably. You know, I mean, to have somebody correct it or whatever. You know, the, the real bottom line in all this is you want it done right the first time. And so if you do it yourself and you don't do it right the first time, it could end up costing you even more. This guy doesn't do it right the first time, even more. And so that's kind of the key and the focus of the rest of this short little video is we're gonna talk about what you need to be able to do this right the first time so that it saves you time and money and heartache. So here's my suggestion. Not everybody's got the desire to do it themselves. I realize that. Find a good shop. But if you want to do it yourself, there are few things that you can do that will give you the satisfaction as you get from converting your own vehicle 
from gas to electric or from internal combustion to electric. Driving down the freeway, just by magic, no noise. You start pulling a grade, you're passing cars, whatever. Nothing changes. You know, with a gasoline engine, you start pulling the grade, things get a little noisier. You can hear the thing working a little harder, maybe. Um, but not with electric. It just does it seemingly effortlessly and um, as if by magic. And the fact that you designed and built this conversion yourself will really make you feel good. So that's what I started out to do back in 2007. And, uh, and so I feel that at this point I should put a, a little warning in here. This could be habit forming. I only wanted to do one conversion for myself. And thus, I had no idea <laughs> what the future held. But anyway, if you're so inclined and you want to do it yourself, I highly recommend our online EV workshop at evworkshops.com. Remember that's plural, EV workshops. And the reason I recommend this is it's going to give you that big picture understanding, okay? So that you don't make any mistakes. The bottom line is we give you the tools, the information, the knowledge, those are tools to be able to do it right the first time. So that you end up with what you want to end up with. Something that you can be proud of, something that's gonna perform the way you want it to perform. And we achieve that, one, we've done a lot of conversions in-house, and we've been teaching people how to do it themselves for 11 years. And we've taught people from all over the world. And so, we have the tools ourselves that we can share with you so that you can be successful. And a few of the things that, that are discussed and gone over are the vehicle, you know. In a recent via, uh, video, we talked about uh, a couple vehicle-related things, uh, such as weight. We talked about different uh, aspects of the weight the gross vehicle weight rating, the uh, curb weight, the converted weight, payload. We also talk about rolling resistance, drag coefficient, on and on and on, okay? There's a lot of information just in the discussion of, of the vehicle choice. Uh, we talk about the terms you're gonna need to know in regards to a conversion. Uh, Ohm's law. Ohm's law is important in order to figure out the, the gauge of wire that you're going to use, to figure out your range, your pack size, on and on and on and on. Um, of course, we, we you know, discuss in-depth batteries. That's kind of the heart of an electric vehicle. So there's a lot of time spent on the topic of batteries. Of course. Motors, both AC and DC, are covered in the workshop. We talk about adapters, couplers, motor mounts, hardware, so all the nuts and bolts and uh, locking methods, uh, lock nuts, lock washers, so forth. All the you know hardware that you're going to be uh, needing to use to do this conversion. The clutch or not to clutch. Um, controllers, inverters, throttle control, uh, switches, relays, contactors. Um, we talk about circuit, circuit design, series, parallel, so forth. Uh, disconnects, uh, DC to DC conver converters. Um, your traction pack chargers um, and um, the EVSE, electric vehicle supply equipment, uh, instrumentation, BMS, 
um, how to retain your power brakes, power steering, air conditioning, troubleshooting techniques, maintenance, and of course, kind of down low on my list here, but it's number one, safety, safety first. We talk a lot about safety, safety in general, uh, as well as safety uh, specific to some of the components used, like the batteries. And then, of course, there's a lot about how it all goes together. And, uh, and then, of course, testing. So there's a lot that you need to know before you start taking apart your internal combustion vehicle. I mean, just from the get-go. There are certain measurements you should take, certain considerations before you start stripping things apart. And so having this information, having this big picture understanding will really save you a lot of time and money. And so I recommend that you go to evworkshops.com, check out uh, the website, you can look and see the different modules uh, and what those modules cover. The modules are made up of varying numbers of lessons and um, bottom line it's about 30 hours worth of video content and uh, so it's more than you got in our three-day hands-on conversion workshops uh, because we didn't have the time limits limitation on the online version. You also have a year from the date of purchase to access this information and you can review it, any or all of it, as many times as you desire in that time period. It also includes one hour of free consultation service. So once you've gone through the workshop, if you have any questions, you can contact us by phone or email. Or you can uh, uh, contact us once you're doing the conversion. You have questions. We're happy to help and if you notice uh, you know that's kind of what we do. That's the focus at ev for you It's not that we also do conversions. We're also one of those shops that that does conversions. But our main focus, we also sell components but our main focus we also do converting to, uh, uh, consultation uh, service but our number one focus, education, okay? That's why we answer the phone, answer all the emails, and why we recommend this. It's all about educating you, the consumer. So as you've heard me say several times already, so that you can do it right the first time. And that will save you time and money. And that's what we're looking to do. We're looking to help you out in any way that we can. And the best way that we can do that is through providing you the knowledge you need to do it yourself. Now, we could have a website where you could go on and you could click and buy all the parts that you want. And you just make those choices. Or in our case, we don't do that because most people don't know what they want or what they need, truly. And so if you want to purchase components from us, we want you to call us and we'll discuss your plans to make sure that what you're wanting to order is compatible not only with your vehicle and the components compatible with one another, but also compatible with the end use that you have in mind. So as always, I thank you for watching and I hope that uh, you uh, will do your homework prior to starting your conversion. And uh, once you're finished, that you have a safe, simple and reliable conversion that you're proud of and that you can enjoy because that's what it's about. That's the bottom line is enjoying the ride.